Vice Portia Bruder is here now with more on the law. Portia. Well, Caleb's law goes into effect July 1st, and drivers we spoke to are confident the threat of getting a ticket and perhaps even a fine for texting behind the wheel will get more drivers concentrating on the road. We've all seen it. Drivers texting with one hand and steering the wheel with the other. Highway safety officials say it's an increasingly common cause of crashes. When somebody hit the back of me, text. And, you know, that's dangerous. You can't be flying around trying to text message people while you drive it. In just a matter of days, it will be illegal for drivers to text while they're behind the wheel. And teen drivers will be banned from using cell phones for any purpose behind the wheel. Senate Bill 360 was signed with some reservation by Governor Sonny Perdue. He called the law vague and questioned how it would be enforced by law enforcement. But supporters are optimistic the new law will dramatically decrease the number of crashes caused by texting drivers. According to the governor's Office of Highway Safety, those types of crashes left 6,000 people dead across the country last year. This way, mm -hmm. just don't, because that's a distraction. Anything can happen in a split second. The measure, also called Caleb's Law, is named after the 18-year-old who accidentally killed himself while texting and driving. The drivers we spoke to believe the law could make Georgia roads much safer. That's crazy, you know what I'm saying? Something will happen, you'll get in a wreck. That's a good law. Good law. Now, a conviction will result in a fine of $150, and a teenager who is charged twice with texting while driving will be subject to driving with more restricted license provisions for a period of one year. Amanda? All right. Thank you, Portia.